What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol, back with another video. Today, I have a special delivery from Yoast over Jazz Ink Dioramas. We've got the BVS Bat Signal. Let's check it out. That's right, guys. We're back. Another Jazz Ink Diorama piece for the collection. I have quite a few. I have two of his... Uh, Star Wars diorama sets have the true scale, oh, not true scale days, one six scale DTOF version of his Death Star diorama. I have the Tantive Four diorama. I have his Iron Scavenger. I have the Ray Speeder bike, and I have a Falcon cockpit and a 66 Batmobile uh, on the way at some point. So I, I'm super excited for this. I like what he does over there. So, spoiler warning generally, I like what's going on over there. But today, we're going to take a look at the BVS. Bad signal, and uh, I, I when I knew it was coming, I was like, I was I was pretty hyped for it. You, you know, I was I was pretty cool. Another diorama set for the collection, um, but I did I didn't really know what to expect. I saw the preview videos, I saw photos, and just different things as he communicates with his uh, community and his own Facebook group, which I'll put a link in the description below to his Facebook group. Um, and he, he he's very good at communication uh, on his products, but he, he he kind of communicated this was finished and it's coming out, and I said, cool. Uh, let's check it out. So I have it here. I unboxed it. The box was beautiful. Box art's beautiful, by the way. But it is quite a large box, and it did make it all the way from the Netherlands over here to the States in one piece. Um, but I wanted to take a, a second. We'll, we'll go over details of this thing, kind of how it works and whatnot, and then we'll do some posing with it. It's got some pretty cool accessories. So I have my handy-dandy measuring tape because I want to give you some dimensions on what this thing's all about. It is a large piece. No, this will not fit in a detoff. Like, don't even, don't even ask. It's not, it's not a thing. Uh, it's, it's quite large. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this thing. It is, let's see, top to bottom, uh, just 18 inches, maybe as, maybe 18 and, you know, uh, an eighth. It's, it's really quite, quite there. Uh, depth wise, it's actually not that deep. Uh, it's about, 11 inches max, maybe 10 and three quarters. Uh, so it's not that bad. And then uh, width wise, we've got right at about 16 inches or so. You got some extra extruding parts here. Uh, I think that's pretty safe to say. Is there something going off on the edge there? Uh, maybe I'm maybe a little long. Hold on, let's go there. Uh, oh, no, I wasn't even close. There's that, there's that. I'd say you're probably closer to, probably closer to 17 and a half. Got some extra parts on that side. Uh, so it, it does it does take up some real estate, which is fine. I have no problems with that whatsoever. I think it's perfectly makes sense. Um, but uh, it, it's quite good. Now on here, you got a couple of different features. The way it comes, you have to assemble it, which is not terribly difficult to do at all. Uh, you actually, in fact, I'll take it apart. To take this thing apart, all you got to do is pick this guy up and so do this. And it actually has these guys right here that come on the side. Uh, come here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so you take that off just like that, and this is one part. This is the actual housing of it. It has the LED portion right in here. So it looks like it's just a single LED. It might be like some multiple parts to that single LED, but it bounces in and around uh, this interior section, which is plenty bright. Uh, this is a plastic. This is not a die cast part. It is absolutely plastic or some kind of vacuum molded something. Uh, but it's not, it's very lightweight. It doesn't really have much weight to it. A lot of detail on this, but that's one part uh, that you have to deal with. I'll put him right there. Uh, this guy right here. These are the two attachment parts to go on the side. Uh, they don't snap on or anything. It's pretty much to just sit here. Uh, and then uh, gives you the ability to uh, rotate the light. And then you've got this part right here, which uh, some people have noted uh, there is a uh, screw on the bottom of this thing. Uh, a uh, mechanics or a, uh, a metal screw down here, but there is no nut or anything on the bottom that it locks into. It should have just sits in there and then you can rotate it around and, and do whatever you want to do. But if there's, there's no, don't look for it in the box. It's not there. Okay. So you got that part. And then the bottom part is actually got some weight to it. I'll put you guys down here for a second. The bottom part actually does have some metal, maybe some aluminum uh, on the, the railing. Uh, I actually quite like this. It's got it's got some good weight to it. So I, this part feels substantial, which makes sense. 
uh, uh, for the, you know, all the bits and pieces on there. And then you can attach the other pieces, which are plastic of some kind. And uh, I dig this very much. Now on the actual light, if I can get it right, there's a wire that comes in here. Included is the power charger uh, because you just plug it into your outlet and then you're good to go. There's an adapter in there for different countries. Uh, it's just actually right here. It's actually pretty neat. I haven't seen one of these before, but it's got, it's like an all-in-one power thing. It's pretty thinking cool. Once you've got it all put back together, it looks just like this. It's actually pretty awesome. There's some pretty good functionality on this. There is a, a cog sort of section on the sides where you can actually angle the light. So all you do is lift it up just a little bit rotate it and then it'll actually catch and you can put it at different you know different angles whatever depending on your display you might have them up high low wherever it's going to be at and then obviously you can rotate it here and like i said earlier there is a cable back here let's see if i can uh, power cable where'd you go there you are it's on the back here there's a power cable right here that plugs in it does have these extra wires for displayability just for uh to make it look cooler so these wires actually go in specific spots and after i took it apart I didn't put them back in yet, so let me go ahead and make that happen. Uh, but they actually, these actually two wires go right in there. So they just kind of, they don't do anything. They're purely for looks. And there's a third one on the other side, uh, but those wires go in just like that. And uh, then you're good to go. They don't, like I said, they're not snap. They're just friction fit and they go right in there. So I do want to show you this. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug this thing in. I have a, a plug down here beside me. Plug it to in. There's no on off. So you either plug it in and it's on or you unplug it and it's off. So if you want yours on a smart plug, probably a good idea. Uh, but we're going to plug this in and boom, we have, we have a bat signal. As you can see, it's fairly bright. So I'll go ahead and we'll kill this light. As you can see, fairly bright, right? The LED in there is plenty bright. No issues whatsoever of being able to see it. Uh, so I think that is purely sufficient. This is not going to, it's not a floodlight. Uh, it's kind of not going to, you know, blind you or anything like that, uh, but it is purely sufficient uh, uh, for what you might uh, need to do. Now, it does come, as I mentioned earlier, with the BVS. These, I guess these are aluminum. These aluminum um, metallic uh, bats uh, logos that go on here. There's a magnet already attached in here, and you do get an extra magnet uh, in the little thing. I uh, get an extra magnet and these attached. Now there's two sides to these things and I'm gonna unplug that because it's probably blinding the people there for a second. Uh, there's two sides to these, uh, this bat uh, signal. There is a clean side, clean side, and then there is a somewhat um, weathered side, I guess if you will, uh, if you get one of these. Messing with it, depending on how you want it to look, uh, you can flip it one way or the other, I don't know if it really matters. I kind of, at this point, I'm kind of liking the clean side, the weather side, um, it's it's okay, but I kind of, I'm kind of preferring the clean side. And all you do literally is you just stick it on here and it magnetizes just like that. And that's all you get. So we'll plug it back in. And now you have a BVS bat signal. Uh, it's actually pretty stinking cool. So one thing I do want to note, depending on your angle of display, uh, if the you want that LED in the back, as you can see, it's very bright. Uh, you want that LED in the back to be blocked by uh, the uh, the signal. So whichever one you choose to display with and whatever angle you want to display it at, uh, you want that to be blocked. Otherwise, you're gonna it's like staring into a flashlight. It's it's freaking bright. Um, so if you're walking by and you're displaying, you have it at a certain angle, you're gonna get blinded by the light. As I mentioned earlier, if you get in on one of these now. You can get with one of these accessory sets where you actually get five more bat logos. We do have the uh, the Dark Knight right there. That's pretty cool one. I dig that one quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that one actually looks, and I like the Dark Knight trilogy, especially with all the new other things happening in the collector world right now. Uh, that one's actually pretty cool. Here's the 1992 Batman. And uh, that one looks pretty stinking cool as well. Now they did give us this extra uh, magnet thing. So I think maybe I can use that to get this off. That might be a good idea. A tip because that magnet in the middle ain't no joke, man. Like that, yeah, there we go. There we go, we're, we're learning things. We got that one, we got the 1989. Yeah, this is the 89 Ke Keaton Batman. I like that one quite a bit for obvious reasons. I think that's just super cool. So we got that one. Yeah, I do. I'd like that one. I like that. Oh yeah, that's much easier. 
Use this to take them off. Yeah, that's cool. We got the Arkham Knight Batman logo. That one's pretty cool. If you got the Arkham Knight video game, you got Batwoman and you got all the other figures from that one. That's a pretty cool one. I'm gonna put that over there. That's way easier. Should have figured that out a long time ago. Last but not least, we have the 66 Batman logo on there. there. There we go. You can maybe see it a little. And that light is bright, right? It's pretty freaking bright. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. It's uh, it's it's on there pretty good. If I lower this down a little bit, it might make it easier. No, either way. Um, but they're on there pretty good. So I'm going to plug this. Uh, get that off of there. So this film screen that's on the front of this, this plexiglass, I'm of some form, acrylic, um, uh, is on there. It does have a nice design on it. And uh, that's fine. The rest of the actual piece uh, it doesn't have a ton of weathering. There's some dry brushing down on the bottom section. There's some dry brushing just randomly throughout. But he really left like a blank canvas for you to do whatever you wanted. So if you wanted to have one with a lot more dry brushing than there is, like there's some up here, there's some on, on the bolt and whatnot. Uh, I'm probably going to weather mine up a good bit. I, I want to add a good bit more to mine. Uh, and, and I'm perfectly fine doing that. It might be something that you also want to tackle. You might want to add rust to yours in different bits. That might be a cool thing. So maybe we'll do a follow-up video on how I actually weather this and add it to make it my own. Um, but uh, I, I'm actually pretty pretty pleased with it. And I think it's going to be a pretty easy project to, to, uh, to knock out. Now, by far, one of the coolest things about this piece is it doesn't have to be lit up to look awesome on your display shelf. In fact, probably for me, Mine won't be lit up for the majority of the time unless I have somebody coming in and I want to hit the button or whatever. I'll, I'll hook mine up on a smart plug so I can just turn it on my phone or whatever. But um, it, it looks great just like this. I think I just think it looks cool. Uh, so I do have mine next to the 66 Batman and Robin. Currently, they are the only Batman and Robin figures in the collection. So there's that. I recently had the DX19 pass that along, and I may be grabbing that one back to put back in the collection. We'll see. Um, but uh, these two, iconic. Glad to have them in the collection, and soon they'll have a ride to go along with, so that'll be kind of cool too. Um, but I want to talk about the scale of this in relation to the actual figures you're going to have. Uh, obviously, they're, they, it's scaled proportionally. I think it looks great. A, a bat signal should be large for its function to shine a light way into the sky. And we look at different uh, bat signals in throughout uh, film history. They're generally large, right? That's what makes sense. Uh, I love that it's not just some boring base. I love that it's got like this track system, the rail track system, and it's got all these neat little uh, just transformers and just different things going on with it. I think that looks cool. I think it's a cool piece. Uh, for the price of it, I think it's $399 for this. If you want to pick it up from jazzinkdioramas.com, uh, well worth the money. I have no complaints about the price. Uh, Yoast generally prices things very fairly, and I think he did it again on this one. And if you order yours in October, then you are guaranteed to get the extra bonus logos. So depending on which Batman set you want to display, whether it's 66 or Dark Knight, or if it's a uh, BVS or whatever it is, uh, you, you'll have that option to do so. And um, I just think it's a very cool piece. I'm happy to have it. So Yost, thanks for creating something awesome. And thanks for the community for kind of pushing me along and, and making these things happen. Because without your support, he couldn't do awesome things just like this. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Now's a great time to do that. As always, click or like. See you next time.